Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tulika Shrivastav and in this video, we are going to explore the user interface of Alteryx Designer. The link to download the Alteryx Designer is available in the description. So without wasting time, let's go and explore it. So this is the first look of Alteryx Designer 64-bit. On the top, you can see different options along with the tabs. The tab contains tools specific to that category. On the left side, we do have workflow configuration panel. On the bottom comes results workflow messages. When we run the workflow, the results are displayed here along with errors or warnings. The main area on which we work is the canvas, the white area you can see over here. It says drop tools here. So to perform any analysis or to perform any task, we drag and drop tools here on the canvas. So now the first question which comes to my mind is where to find the right tool. On the top, I can see different tabs. The first one is in out. It contains all the tools which are used for reading or writing data. The next tab is preparation. It contains all the tools which are used for data preparation for analysis. Different tabs have different tools associated to them which perform that specific functionalities. Like in join tab, we do have all the tools which are used for joining data. If you can't find any tab on your interface or you want to remove it from your interface, then you can click on this plus symbol and select or deselect according to your requirement. Suppose I want to add parse tab and remove transform. Click OK. So now I can see parse on my interface and transform tab is removed. There is another way in which you can find the tool you want to use. On the right top corner, you can see a search box. Here you can type the name of that tool and all the tools related to your search will be displayed here. Suppose I want to search for join tool. Now I can see all the tools which are related to my search. Alteryx has very good repository of examples. To explore all the in and out possibilities of that tool, you can explore this section. Click on example. So now you can find all the possibilities and settings in which you can use this tool. It also provides additional information. Like in this case, we have information about join versus union. So now you can discover the difference between them. To run any workflow, press Ctrl plus R. So now when talking about workflows, let me tell you there are three main components of a workflow. As by now, we already know Alteryx is tool oriented. So the first main component is tool, which is a step in the process. The process is your analysis or reporting. It could be anything. The text input, join, union, these are my tools. The second main important component is anchors. It is in and out of any tool. So in this case, this is my anchor, which is the out of that tool. Similarly, for union, this is the input of my tool. Now, the third and important component is connections. This is my connection. It controls the flow of data from one tool to another. So on every step, the data is manipulated in some way. Or we are doing some analysis. Every tool helps in building our output. So now let's explore the different panels of Alteryx Designer. 
So on the left, we can see workflow configuration panel. Here we have different tabs as canvas, workflow, runtime, events, and meta info. The first one is canvas. Here you can do the settings for the tools available on the canvas. So here you can see the options as layout direction, defaultly horizontal is selected. We can also select vertical. So now you can see the difference. The tools are aligned vertically. I will change it to horizontal. So now here you see our tools are aligned horizontally. One important configuration is annotations. What are annotations? These are the display text or you can say any description provided by you. So when you see on this canvas, you cannot identify which tools are used. To distinguish them or to provide any additional information, you can use annotations. Defaultly, when you show the annotations, the tool names are displayed. So here, let me show you. Show tool names. So now I can see the tool names are displayed below the tool itself. The third option is connection process. So when you run the workflow, you want to see how much percent of the workflow is executed. So from here, you can select it. Either you can hide it or show or you can select show only when running. Now let us see another tabs under workflow configuration. So now this workflow is not saved anywhere. The default path where this workflow will be saved is mentioned here. Defaultly, all the workflows we build are standard workflow. To change the type of workflow, we can select one options from here. In upcoming videos, I will tell you the difference between these types of workflow, how and when to use them. We also have some constants available in Alteryx Designer. It is temp file path where the intermediate processed files are stored. The version of Alteryx Designer, workflow directory, workflow file name and GUI interaction. So this is about the workflow tab. So these are the majorly used configurations which we use in our day-to-day -day life of Alteryx Designer. So now let's see the result workflow messages panel. To explore this panel in depth, let's run the workflow first. So after running the workflow, we do get a prompt which states the time took by Alteryx Designer to run the workflow. So this workflow took just 0.6 seconds to run. So here we can see there are zero errors, zero conversion errors, zero warnings, nine messages. The messages are displayed over here which tools has how many records or uh, in this scenario we can see how many uh, records were joined and how many were not joined what is the output what is the number of records from each tool so if i click on this it will navigate me to that specific tool for which that message was displayed so here we can see, so if you click on L, that is the left input of join, six records were there, which have five fields, that is five columns. The right input, it contains three columns and six records. Below input, on the bottom, you can see the output. Also, Instead of selecting nodes over here, you can click on the icon itself and see the results. Defaultly, on the result panel, data is selected. It is used to display data in the grid. What if we want to know more about the data? We do switch to metadata option. Metadata is information about data. 
so here you can see the name of the columns the type of that column the size it is taking and the source of that column if the description is also available it will be displayed here itself so this is about the user interface of Alteryx designer to explore more about the tools available in Alteryx Designer, you can seek information from Alteryx Community or the Help section. Also, there is another option to explore the tools according to your requirement. On the top, you can see Help. Click on it. Either you can explore the sample workflows, select the category you want to explore. Suppose I want to know how I can clean and prepare data in a better way. So I can click clean and prepare data and see other related options to it. The another way is to go and explore tutorials in the help section. In tutorials itself, you can see the category and select according to your need. Suppose you want to explore how you can transform your data, then you can go and select it and see the related options to it. So from here, you can also go to community, see what's new, check for updates and download Alteryx new versions. I would suggest you to use always the latest version of Alteryx Designer. So this is all about the user interface of Alteryx Designer 64-bit. So, in the next video, we are going to see how we can read and write data in Alteryx Designer. If you have any queries or suggestions, do drop them in the comment box. Also, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay tuned to get the latest updated videos. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. See you in the next video.